So you're ready to automate and start downloading your transactions from your bank into QuickBooks Online. First thing to do is to go to your banking screen. And there you will see add account. Now, If you open the account for the first time, you'll also see on the main home screen um, an option. It may not show up here. Yeah, here we are connect account so you can also do it from there this is what will be prominent because when you first start off there'll be nothing actually in your bank account list you could actually go into your chart of accounts which is here and manually add bank accounts let's get rid of that and manually add bank accounts yourself that you know you're going to want to do the transactions for when you connect to your online banking institution but you can actually do it on the fly so if we go back into banking and here we're going to click add account and it will take you to this screen now you can see this is an american version so my us friends you'll recognize this one here are the popular ones you can choose one of those or you can add the name of a bank so let's just pretend we're going to use us us even so let's just say we're going to use US Bank. Uh, now, to enable connections to bank with different currencies, you must first set up multi-currency in company settings. Now, if you want to use multi-currency, you have to have done this first. And in fact, I shall quickly show you, if you come here and you go into your accounts and settings, in here, if you go to Advanced, and come down here to currency you will see the multi-currency and you will just have to change that multi-currency and you want it to be turned on yeah now it's actually saying to you once you've turned it on you can't turn it off that's it but if you use it you use it save that and you'll see come back baby Oh, yep, yeah. and you'll see that it's on. I won't go into that with managing the currencies. That's a whole different um, video. So click done. Come out of there. So we go back into here, choose US Bank, search for that, and it's coming up with all the denominations of the US banks that it could be. If you don't find the one you want, just type it in. And again, because sometimes it could have um, US Bank Business, US Bank Personal, US Bank X, got US Bank Phoenix. Be very specific which one it is. If it's the wrong bank and you connect to it, you won't be able to connect to it because your credentials won't match. If you don't find your bank at all, no matter how much you search, you can click request to add my bank, add your bank in there, the URL and the name and submit it. And that will go off to the Intuit development team and they will add that to the list of banks to look at. To be fair, I don't imagine that the mainstream ones are missing. In the early days, we were very lucky to get your bank on there with so many, but the majority of them are there now. And with the advent of QuickBooks now buying bank stream, it's going to get even easier because you're going to have a direct connection. So the friction that we have at the moment with actually having the, our external bank accept the credentials from an outside institution like QuickBooks will be greatly reduced, but I'll keep you updated on that. So find our account. Uh, we'll go for that one. And here now it brings up the Barclays bank account that I've chosen and it should match your credentials when you log into the proper bank externally. So put in your ID or whatever it asks for. It could be customer account ID, your password. This asks for a passcode. Some of you may actually have um, an actual card reader. So you might have to put your card in the card reader and type in the code that it gives you. Often there is an error when it says extra information because it doesn't come up with it here it may show you like a passcode and you put that in and then you try to log in and it doesn't let you do it often it's because you haven't done the card reader stage so try that first and then see if it works now this won't work for me because i'm not going to actually log in but once you actually click login once your connection is successful you'll see a message coming up saying it's actually downloading your transactions once it's done and it's successful, you will get a screen that looks like this. And what it will do, it will actually ask you if you need to download a shorter range of transactions, because the default is 90 days. 
You may want all of those 90 days, particularly if you're starting a new financial year and you want to get all the transactions in and it just makes life easier. But you may have a lot of transaction and 90 days could be a nightmare for you to go through and review. So if you need a shorter date, just click here and decide which one and choose it. And here will be the accounts that the institution is holding. And all you do is come along over here and click down and choose the corresponding chart of accounts or bank accounts that are in your QuickBooks data. If they don't already exist in exactly the same way as you would create a nominal code, you would create them here. And then you just save that and come out. So if you go back to your banking screen here, all the new accounts will appear up here. If you've got lots, you'll have lots of them scrolling across the screen. And that's where you go in and then you'll just be able to review them and reconcile them in the way you would do any other bank account. So you're now connected. Every so often though, you may find that when you go to connect them, they haven't downloaded automatically. Now this says it's been moments ago since it was downloaded. Over here, you just click the update button and QuickBooks will connect again to your banking institution and update them and you'll see that it says moments ago again. Sometimes you may come in here if you don't do your bookkeeping very often and it could say it was last done seven days ago or something. So you know you need to go in and do an update. Sometimes if there is an, an error because it hasn't been done, it's just stalled. So that's a quick way of doing it. I hope that was useful to you. Thanks for stopping by.